Today I want to talk about making decisions uh, in illogical situations where you can't determine what the outcome is. And when I say illogical, what I mean is, is that logic falls short of being able to eliminate uh, the certainty of the outcome. Uh, my name is Walker Dival. I'm the author of Buy Then Build, creator uh, of the Acquisition Lab. And when I first started buying companies, the thing was, was that I was driven enough to do it. I was confident enough to know that I could succeed somehow, right? But there was a big learning curve. And um, what I ultimately saw was that I would fall victim to analysis paralysis, okay? I would try to use math to eliminate uh, any risk associated with the deal, okay? And try to have a, a more solid calculated income, right? And it makes sense, right? I, I get it. It's a common pitfall and we see it in the lab too. People, um, our members, you know, first time around will try to uh, eliminate risk. I'm at the airport right now, uh, headed out to see a lab member actually. And the thing is, is that if this were my first time flying, I might be concerned. I might be doing research on the number of planes uh, that crash. I might try to figure out what is the um, most common point A to point B flights uh, that crash. Um, what What is the profile of the pilots um, uh, that, that get in these accidents, right? I might be doing all of this kind of research, but instead, this is familiar to me now. I'm, I'm not worried about it, right? I'm just gonna get on an airplane. I gotta get to Denver, that's the point. And so the thing is, is um, the analogy is when I first started buying companies, this was something that I did. And ultimately what happens is that you've got to take this leap of faith, okay? There's no way to, you, logic can only take you so far, and then you got to feel good about what it is that, that you're going to be doing and your ability to actually execute on that, okay? So what you need to do is really do everything you can to understand evaluating and analyzing small business listings. You also need to learn how to navigate the, the private capital markets and get some people around you that are doing it, that you can talk to, that, you can, that can help you make smart decisions, okay? Uh, now that I've bought companies over half a dozen times, you know, I know how hard it is. I know the time commitment that it takes. I know that, that you know, you gotta jump in with both feet and just get to work. I know that like the cash flow that is showing there is probably not gonna actually be the same immediately after I buy it, right? I've gotta sort of recreate, shed a little bit of skin, paint the walls, you know, and and uh, uh, make it my own. And that takes a little bit of time, okay? These things don't just like kick off like all kinds of cash, right? Um, as much as we, we love them to. It's hard work, it's hard work. Um, but the thing is, is that like, the way that you eliminate the risk is that you evaluate and analyze, you take the leap, you do it, you buy the thing, and then you go, okay? Effectively, 100% of millionaires in the United States own their own company, okay? The opposite is not true. Just because you own a business does not mean that you're a millionaire. And that's why we spend so much time trying to figure out like, is this the one that's gonna make me a millionaire? Or is this one, you know, um, what do they call it? You know, but anyway, not a failure, right? So so a lemon is what I was thinking. And so, so the thing is, is like, we have to get comfortable with the fact that the logic can only take us so far. And then we have to make a decision with a vague outcome, knowing that we can shoulder the load, that we can realize the outcome that we want in our lives, okay? And the fact is, is that, you know, rich people own companies. And if you wanna get rich, you know, having an acquisition strategy is simply part of what you need to do. Um, if you wanna buy a business in the next six months to a year, check out the Acquisition Lab. We're the premier uh, accelerator for on acquisition entrepreneurs. And uh, uh, check out acquisitionlab.com, apply there. We've just closed over 100,000 in acquisitions and we'll see you on the inside, thanks.